the hell is that ball? Oh shit, no wonder. No wonder. So creative. Oh, they're so creative. So united. Oh, it stinks. Oh. Damn. Whoa, that is insane. Boys. Back to the swamp. It's committed to supporting the Lebanese people and has worked. Good gas prices though. Going to the bridge, let's go. We slept on the outside of the flood wall today. Look how thick it is. At Boomtown. Thanks, Boomtown. Okay, so I guess sunburn. I was trying to. Just had a snack at this park. Really cool, empty park. Super sunny. I had my window rolled down. I was getting some tan. Ate a salad and just chilled out. And I got the email that my package was ready for my solar charger controller, solar charge controller. And now we're gonna go stop by, pick it up. I think there's a water fountain around the bend, so I might try and fill up my jugs with the water fountain. Off we go, gotta drive back across New Orleans again. Needed that sunshine, it felt good. Get you a better view of the park. It's really nice. These big trees. All these old, big old trees. There's that water fountain, we'll see if it works. Hopefully it does. We're in business. Pretty full, I'll take that. And it's cold. Oof. Maybe one day we'll bust the funnel out. That's full enough for me. Thank you, water fountain. <clears throat> Back to it. Mm, feels good to have full water again. Woo! Beautiful swamp. 
Man, summer in the winter is so nice. Like, this is unbelievable to me. I thought we were gonna have to pay coming in here, but we don't. This is NPR News. Keep that mask and that hat Ooh, the clean. Okay, check it out. Package. Solar charging inbound. Just in case you're interested, it is the Rover. 20 amp MPPT solar charge control. And this was like a used one, but it was like refurbished or something, so. Charges over discharged lithium ion phosphate batteries, that's me. I'm in my car right now, just at this, this uh, grocery store called Save A Lot. They had like an Amazon hub locker. That's how I, uh, that's how I ordered it, because they don't have a permanent address right. Here's the manual. Connect the battery. I imagine you connect the battery first, and then you connect the solar panel. You select your battery type, and it'll just start going, I think. But anywho, I'm gonna try and get this installed. Okay. Should be basically the same way. Instruction said connect the battery first, negative terminal, then positive terminal, and then it said connect the solar panel next. Negative. Negative terminal first, positive terminal second. But I gotta get this stuff out of the way. And all I should need is a screwdriver. My cables are already ready. Fabricated. Also, I'm gonna cover the panel with this because you don't wanna plug it in while it's under load. Okay, panel is covered. You can call me whenever, no matter the weather. Okay, obviously we don't want these to touch. That should be causing no effect on this whole system. So for now, battery's good. I'm gonna keep talking you through because I think this is helping me. In the bottom here, you can see how there's a battery minus, battery positive, load, which I'm not gonna do, and then the solar panel, negative and positive. First, we connect the battery negative. And all you need to do that is just unscrew it. There's like a screw, and then inside there's like a clamp. And it's said to not over tighten them. Just tighten it enough. Battery negative is in now, battery positive. Battery positive. Now, my solar panel leads. Okay, based on this little sticker up here, there's a sticker on my cable. This is the negative one. So now that we have our battery, battery cable's in. And connected. Now it's time to connect the solar panel cables. You want to do negative first? Alright, decent. This should be my positive. It's only one left. And this says PV. That means photovoltaic. That's just what... That just means the solar panel. It's a photovoltaic panel. I think because it turns photons into Bolts, right? Just gonna check the battery voltage real quick. Whoa, five? That does not make any sense to me. 
we're getting something. I took the sheet off. So I think that's kind of just all I can do right now. I can't really do anything else. Since there's no power on the screen. But I did that and... That's what we got. So, I'm gonna check the voltage again. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. It's like rotating. Big news, check it out. The big news, check it out. Oh. Charger is in action, which is good. I played around with it this morning because I woke up, the sun was barely out, but the screen was on and it was reading 1.3 volts. And I was like, that sounds suspect. But then I clicked around, I read the manual again, and I went in to set the battery type and set it to lithium, said it's 12 volt, and then it popped up on the screen saying ACR, and I couldn't even find that in the manual, but I clicked away from that, and then the screen said 10.6, and I was like, yes, because I know the battery was like overly discharged, and 10.6 is the proper voltage for that sort of charge. All that to say that I think it's working. Now, if you can see, the solar panel logo is like charging into the battery. It's at 11.8 now, it's only been like half an hour maybe, an hour max. It's still, s the flashing light and the flashing empty battery still means it's overly discharged, which makes sense, but we'll see how long that lasts. <laughs>